This is Eric from Pack Hacker, and today we're taking a look at the Long Weekend Camera Pouch, which I've been testing for the past two weeks. If you find this video helpful, make sure you subscribe so we can continue making content like this to help you travel smarter. Let's dive in. So on the exterior here, we have a 210D nylon. It's got that rip stop, um, you know, printing on it, fabric. It looks pretty neat. I think there are three colorways available. We got the black one, which has the white accent here. I think it looks really nice. It reminds me of like graph paper from like math class in high school. Um, it just has a very kind of technical, but also vintage look because of this um, large logo here. We have a small one on the back here, just with the little graphic there. But I normally, I don't like big logos, but because of the, the styling of this, I guess I would say, I think it looks pretty nice. But if you're someone who just really doesn't like big logos in general, you might not dig this. But as far as logos do go, um, I like how this looks. And I think that it just has a nice vintage, but then like technical and, and neat look as well. But I understand that might not be for everyone. But this top closure here, as you can see, it does have you know some holes in it. I mean, you can kind of get it a bit tighter, but at the end of the day, you're not gonna get a perfect seal there. This material does a really good job at, of keeping water out, but again, it's not fully waterproof because of those holes. So if you're caught in a light rain, you're gonna be fine. But if it starts pouring or you get caught in just like some wicked weather, you're gonna wanna try and put this inside your bag and not outside your bag. But to put it outside your bag, there are these loops here on the back side. There's three of them here. So you could um, you know, run this through your belt if you want to you know, kind of have it on your belt, or you could put a carabiner on there and hook it to something, run a strap through there. There's lots of opportunities to attach this. You could put it through a sternum strap on uh, your backpack, just a ton of different ways you can do that. So you have quick access to your camera at all times. So you're ready to take a photo at a moment's notice. We have one on the side here as well, and then another one on this side over here too. So you can really attach this on uh, the back or either side, which is helpful. And just, it's nice to see because they don't get in the way when you're not using them. So sometimes with like attachment loops, they're just kind of big and in the way. And these ones are on the back and they're bigger. So if these were on the front or something, they might be in the way. And these ones on the side, it's just one. So it, if this was, you know, all the way down, it would kind of like be harm the closure system. So overall, very happy with that. And the hook and loop fastener here is very sturdy. It doesn't come undone when you don't want it to. And it's, you know, I got a pretty big width. So if you were to try put, to put something taller in there, you could kind of secure it like that. And it's still pretty secure. Not as secure as if you go all the way, but it does a good job. So on the interior of this thing, there is absolutely no organization. And to be honest, I think that's for the best. If there was any organization inside here, it would just kind of muddy the waters. And I mean, maybe there could be like a little slide pocket for a memory card or something, but overall, I think it does well here for how the size. And right now I just have a disposable camera inside here because I feel like pretty much everyone, whether you've used one or not, is familiar with what size this is. So I'm going to slide this in here. So you can see it's got quite a bit of space, probably about an inch there on this side of extra space. And then quite a bit of room there too, but obviously if you were wider, you wouldn't have as much room this way. But I actually use this most of the time with my Konica Big Mini, which is a camera from the 90s. That's what this was designed for, was like a 90s port and shoot camera. So if you have like an Olympus or like a Ricoh GR camera or something, or even a, a modern digital camera that's roughly that same size, it's going to fit inside here. We've got our Canon uh, G7X, which is a little bit dated at this point, but I mean, it's about the same size as most point and shoots are these days. And that fits in there with no issue. There's even some room on top. So you could throw a couple of accessories on, on the top or on the side if you wanted to as well. So I'll slide that out of there. But yeah, if you have, you know, really any point and shoot, so long as it isn't like running into a more professional camera, like your Sony, or not Sony, I'm sorry, Fuji X100 series camera is not going to fit inside here. But if you have something smaller that's pocketable, it's gonna fit inside here. So that way you can have it on your front, you can wear it and you can access it at all times. But it does offer a bit of protection. It's kind of hard to show you how thick that material is, but there is some padding inside there. So this is more than okay for me, like just in daily use. So I don't have to worry about my camera. Like if I were to drop it, it, obviously you don't want to drop it, but if you were to drop it, it does have a little bit of padding to protect it. But if you're going on like a rugged adventure, I wouldn't use this as your only defense. Or if you know you're going to be on a four wheeler or something, or even if you're at the airport and like throwing your bag into the, um, the overhead bin, you know, 
this is better to be on the inside of your pack than on the outside of your pack if you're doing more rugged things or you know it might get tossed around a little bit. But I really digged using this thing because when you're on your way somewhere or you're you know, traveling to your destination, you can throw your camera inside and close it up. And then you can also put like maybe an accessory on the top or the side. Or if you are using a film camera, you can put the, your camera in there and have your film in a baggie and take it through security and have them check it and not go through the x-ray machine. And then when you get to your location and you wanna go out without a backpack or something like that, you can pull your camera out and you just hold this and you know, you're taking pictures and all that. Or if you have your, um, disposable or film camera you have that and you're taking pictures and you can load this up with film or accessories like if you have a camera that accepts filters you could throw some filters in here you could put a couple rolls of film in here or just really whatever you need to assist your photo taking while you're out and about so you've got your camera ready you're taking photos and then you've got all the accessories you might need inside of here and you can attach this you know on your belt on your sternum strap wherever or just throw it in your bag and everything is in one place but if you go no bag there are those attachment loops that you can use so you can go bag free and hands free apart from the hand that is holding your camera. So there you have it, the long weekend camera pouch. Thanks for keeping it here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel. We'll see you in the next one.